Well, let's see about the cubes now. In the cubes, if all the sides are painted and then after painting, if you cut the cubes into smaller identical cubes, you have to find out like how many of the cubes, the smaller cubes are two-sided painted or three-sided painted or one-sided painted or zero-sided painted. So let us consider the first one where you make one cutting in the one side. That is in one of the face you do one cutting then the second cutting and the third cutting here. So the three cuttings when you do here you will have totally how many smaller cubes. So you can see that this forms one smaller cube, the second one and third one and fourth one. This is the one layer. So in one of the layer, the top layer alone, you have four smaller cubes and the down again you have the similar four. So you will have totally eight smaller cubes. Eight smaller identical cubes when you have three cuttings. This is in case you cut it after painting. The question is after painting how many of the sides will be three sided painting. So you can see that when you paint the entire thing and then cut it. So this particular cube if you consider this forms the outer layer of the cube. In the smaller cube when you consider this particular cube this, this, this are exposed faces and the remaining three that is behind this whatever you have and behind this one whatever you have and then down behind this below this whatever you have or hidden sides. So the only faces which is exposed is the three and that is only these three or three sided painted. So three sided painting you will get it in corner cubes. You will get only in the corner cubes and you have to find out how many of these are corner cubes. As you can see this cube this particular one is a corner. Similarly here, when you consider this particular cube here, this is forming the co corner of the larger cube. And this is another corner, this is another corner. Similarly down you have four corners, one, two, three, four. So all the eight here after cutting, whatever you are getting, are the corner cubes of the larger cube. So in the larger cube, all the corners are involved. Therefore, you can see that there are totally four to four plus four, there are eight corners in this cube. All the eight are three sided painted. So, three sided painting comes for eight. So, eight of the smaller cubes are three sided painted. The similarly, when you consider here, how many are three sided painted? That is, after you do the two cuttings, like here you have done one cutting here, now you are going to do two cuttings here. So, when you do the two cuttings, you can see that there are three divisions made here. So, here, how many smaller cubes are there? So when you see this totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 smaller cubes here. So 9 into 3 you have 27. So like here you have 8 smaller cubes. Here you have 27 smaller cubes. In this how many are 3 sided painted. So 3 sided painting again as I told it will happen only in the corners. So how many corners are there. So this particular cube the larger cube when you consider. This is one corner, second, third, fourth and same thing will be there in the bottom, one, two, three and four. So there are eight corners. So irrespective of how many ever cutting it is, the larger cube is going to have always eight corners. And all the eight corners you can see, three of the faces are exposed. When you consider this uh, smaller cubes of this larger one, after cutting, the corner cubes alone are going to have three sides exposed. Therefore, those three sides will be painted. So three side painting will be definitely in the corner cubes and they are going to be only eight. So eight of the smaller cubes will be three sided painted. You can also see the example of the next one where now you are going to have three cuttings. When you have three cuttings the number of divisions made is four and you can see here totally four this side and four this side. So four into four you have 16 of these smaller faces here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 of the cubes in the top layer. So this you can just consider this as one layer. So one layer has 16 cubes. Similarly you have, there are 4 layers. So 16 into 4 you have totally 
64 smaller cubes. So in this you have 64 smaller cubes. But again here you have only totally 8 corners. So therefore there are 8 smaller cubes which are 3 sided painted. Now we are going to see for the 2 side now. As you are seeing for 3 side for every cube it's going to be only 8 of the smaller cubes are going to have the 3 side painting. So we are going to see for the 2 sides painting now. So 2 sides painting. As you know there are totally 8 smaller cubes and all the 8 are 3 sided painted. Therefore 2 sides painting will be 0. You will not have any of this. Let us see the next one. So here 2 side painting where will this 2 side painting will come. So you can see here that this particular line this is the edge. In this edge you can see that this comes whatever you have in this direction and this direction is going to have 2 side painting. So here you can see that this side and this side is exposed whereas the other all sides are not exposed. So only this is the only one of the smaller cube in this edge which is two sided painted as these two are taken as corners, corners are three side painting so only the middle one is taken. So how many such edges are there? So you can see that this is one edge, two, three, four, five, six, seven and back side one eight. 9, 10, 11 and 12. So there are totally 12 edges and for each of the edges only one will be two sided painting as you can see here also this edge only this is two sided painting. If you consider this also this is two side painting and then everywhere it is two side painting. So you will have number of edges which is 12 into 1 because 1 only is there as two sided painting. So there are 12 of them which is two sided painted. Third cube, again here you have to take the edge. In the edge if you see the two are the corners which is left. The remaining you have only two of them which is two sided painted. So one here these two faces are painted. The second cube again these two sides are painted. So if for each of the edge you are going to have Two of the cubes which is two sided painting here also you can see that these two are corners of the middle two are taken. So here these two are the corners of the middle two are taken and so on. So again this is going to be 12 into 2 which is 24 or two sides painting. Now we have to go for the one side painting. So one side painting comes where? So one side painting. This as you know that 8 is already covered so we don't have to look for this. Here the one side painting will come only in the face. Because you know that this is two side painting, this is three side, this is two, this is three, two, three, two, three. So the one which is left out in the middle, only one of the faces exposed, the remaining all are inside. So only one of this in a face will be one sided painted. And here you can see that in this also, this is the only one which is one side painted. Similarly here, so for each of the face you are going to have only one. So how many faces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are totally 6 faces. So for each of the face you are going to have only one as a one set painted. So therefore you will have totally 6 of the smaller cubes which is one side painted. And now if you see the next one, in this the same thing you are going to leave the edges whichever the cubes are coming in the edges that is these two are going to be two sided painted this is three sided painted so you cannot add all this similarly here you cannot add here you cannot add and this so what is left out is you have only this part which has to be considered as one set painted so how many of them are there one two three four so for each of the face you are going to have four so here also you can see that this is the only area which is one side painted and there are four cubes here. So for each other face when you have four, so this is going to have six faces and into four you are going to have 24 of this. Now zero side painting. Zero side painting will come inside. This again is 0. In this, when you remove this particular layer, that is you have the smaller cubes here, remove this smaller cubes. When you remove this part here, 
when you remove this part here, when you remove this, the only one which is left out is this particular cube. And here, again remove this top and then bottom. So the middle one which is left out is not having any of the side painted. So there is only one which is zero side painted. So similarly here when you remove all this, you can see that the two of the cubes are left out here. Similarly all the sides two will be left out. So it is a two into two into two, there are eight of them. Which is the middle one. When you remove all the layers, there is a smaller cube inside which is having is eight smaller cubes. So as you have seen now, you have to just count and see whether you are getting the same 27 and 64. So here we are getting the same 8, here when you add this, 8 plus 12 is 20, plus 6 is 26, plus 1, 27. So you are getting the same 27. Similarly for 64, 8 plus 24 plus 24 plus 8. So 24 plus 24 is 48, 48 plus 8 is 56, plus 8 is 64. So you are getting the same 64, that is number of cubes you have. So this can also be done the other way or we can formulate a formula for this that is as you have seen that this all these are depending upon the number of edges or number of faces or the number of corners. So find out how many corners are there for any cube. As I have already told this you have totally 8 corners for any cube. So 8 corners are there and you know that all the corner cubes are 3 sided painted that is what we have it here. And then, how many edges are there for any cube? There are totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, there are 12 edges for any cube. Faces are 6. So, totally you have 1 and the bottom one 2, this is 3, back side 4, this is 5 and this side is 6. So, totally 6 faces are there. As here we have used that formula that two sides painting comes only in the edges. So you have to just take this number of edges into the one. What is this one? So one again depends on the number of cuttings. So here you can see that the number of cuttings, if suppose we have one cutting here, it is going to divide this into two divisions. So we can say n equal to 2. So now n represents the number of divisions. So here you have two divisions, n equal to 2. Therefore, the number of cubes will be equal to n cube, which is 8. Here also the number of divisions as the two cuttings are there. So you have number of divisions as 1, 2, 3. So n equal to 3 or n cube is equal to 27. T cube is 27. In this n equal to 4, the 4 divisions are there. So n equal to 4 and n cube is equal to 64. So this n is important here. So based on the n only you are going to derive this formula. How do you get this 1 here? For 2 side painting, this is the number of edges into 1. So this 1 is nothing but out of the 3, the 3 divisions which you have, n equal to 3. The 2 of them are definitely going to be the corners. And then whatever the left out in the middle you are taking it. So n equal to 3 you take 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. Similarly when you take here, here n equal to 4 again 2 of them are going to go as a corners. So remaining you have is only 2. So it is going to be n minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 is 2. So this 1 can be replaced by n minus 2. So here also you can say n minus 2 where n can be replaced. You can replace this n by 3 here. So 3 minus 2 is 1 and here is going to be 4 minus 2 which is 2. And now for the one side painting. As you know the one side painting comes here. This is only one in a single this face. Uh, then it depends on the faces not on the edges. So only in the faces you get this. Number of faces you have to see there are 6 faces here. So for each of the space you have one of this and how do you get this one? You have to remove these two. The n is equal to 3. So you are going to take out these two. So n minus 2. Similarly this side also you are going to take out these two. So n minus 2. So it is going to be n minus 2 the whole square. 6 into n minus 2 the whole square. Here also you can see when I remove the n is 4 here 
out of 4 you are taking out 1 from this side, 1 from this side, balance what you have is 2 and similarly 1 from this side and 1 from this side, balance you have is 2. So this is the square of 2 into 2. So or you can say n minus 2 into n minus 2. So this is n minus 2 the whole square, 6 times of n minus 2 the whole square that is each phase you have to consider so 6 into that. Similarly the one which is 0 upside painted, 0 side paint comes inside that is you have to remove one of this side, one of this side so n minus 2 similarly this side you have to remove this one of this side and one of this side n minus 2 and the top and bottom again so n minus 2 so it's going to be n minus 2 the whole cube so you can write this also here n minus 2 the whole cube and n is equal to 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 2 cube is 8 so you can just use this as a formula this particular You can use this as a formula for any kind of cube. Suppose instead of 4 divisions, that is 3 cuttings, you get 4 divisions. 5 divisions if you get.